My name is Bruce Swift. This is our salmon farm. It's Swift Aquaculture. It's a family-run uh, operation with myself and my wife. We grow uh, coho salmon in fresh water. So it's a land-based operation. We live in Agassiz, BC. Some of the advantages of having a land-based system versus, versus an open net pen system, um, one of the key things is that you actually get to control some of the inputs. So on a research system, you can keep that water temperature where, where you like. Predator control, we don't have the predator problems that, or, or the issues that they have to be careful of out there. And, uh, and kind of closer to proximity to, to, uh, to markets. These are coho salmon. These are fish that smolted last year. So this be a mixed stock, both males and females. We feed a, um, a local diet. We don't use anti-antibiotics or anything. We've never used any on the site. Um, all fish are come from a uh, health certified brood stock program. So it's uh, DFO comes in and does an inspection approximately four times throughout their life cycle and takes about 60 fish and checks them for any diseases. Okay, this is our watercress beds. This is where the wastewater comes from the fish that's filtered. And then the water is kind of flowed through the bed and the watercress grows. So we actually just take it up. Well, it'll actually grow probably about another four inches. We'll take it and then we'll cut it and bunch it up and send to the restaurants. If we just use straight well water to actually, to actually irrigate the watercress, it'll grow at a certain level. But once we add or use strictly effluent, like screened effluent water, because of the soluble nutrients in it, it grows at least, at least twice as fast. We actually started to focus on a few restaurants, so specifically around the Ocean Weiss program, and that, and that with the support of the chefs. And once they got to know our product, finally it started to go because it was it was kind of a little bit different. They actually enjoyed that it's land based, and uh, they, and they, and they liked they were doing something with their nutrients and sell that to them as well. Well, like some restaurants even developed a whole menu, like using Arco as part of it, and the watercress and wasabi, and other things like that. So so uh, it becomes very powerful. Agriculture has a very small footprint because you can rear a lot of fish in a very small area. I, I think that agriculture has, has a, a very strong future, both in Canada and North America. We have to eat more fish, and I think if the fish is more uh, readily available all year round, then I think it's going to have a definite health, health benefit.